As an agency owner, I don't want to miss good waves because I'm working. I don't want to know my kid's soccer call through a text message. I want to travel more than the two times per year we have come to accept. I want to be present for my wife and loved ones. And this is what this video is about. There is a point as consultants or agency owners where the only way for our business to grow our revenue is by us increasing the hours that we work. Through my experience, that typically happens around the 100 to 200k per year mark. And that means that we have become the bottleneck of our company's growth. The lifestyle that I started this video with requires of two things. One, free time. And second, a lot of money. And what this video is about to show you is a very simple addition to your business that will make it possible. Let's get into it. Okay, so how do we get there? We said that if we want to reverse engineer that life that we want, we may need more free time and more money. So let's see how to get them. For us to get more free time, we will need to work less hours. <laughs> that is pretty easy to understand. And this will mean that we have to stop doing some of the things that we are currently doing. But Danny, if we stop doing these things, we are gonna earn less money. Yes, but the thing is that it's not gonna be us who are gonna do them, it's gonna be other people. This means that we will have to remove ourselves from the day-to-day -day operations of the business. This way we will be able to focus on strategy, growth, sales, aka the higher leverage stuff. And here we have two options. Option number one, we hire someone for servicing our clients, let's say. We spend a good three months teaching them how to do that. And after those three months, we can finally start delegating on that person and reaping the rewards of our time. But then what if this person decides to go on vacation because we also want them to live the lifestyle that we want? Or even worse, what if that person leaves the company? We're gonna have to repeat the process again, hire, three months training, and again. But there is an option too. Before hiring someone, we can spend some time standardizing our offering. Once we have standardized our offering, this means that we always serve our clients the same way, following the same number of steps. We're gonna turn all of this into documentation that even a six-year-old could read. And once you have all of this ready, you start hiring. And now once that person has come, instead of spending three months teaching him, you can just show him the documentation, send him a test task so he can follow the documentation and do the test task. And if this person leaves or goes on holiday, it doesn't really matter because what he is doing is already documented. So any other person can pick it up. Here, basically, we're seeing the difference of a business that is people dependent, option one, and systems dependent, which is option two. Okay, so this has given us more free time. So how are we gonna get more money? Well, now that we have this free time, we can focus on the higher leverage stuff. So that was practically a given. And this is gonna help our business grow more than if it's us who is servicing clients, for example. Cool, so now let's see how can we build the infrastructure that is gonna allow us to delegate in this way. So first of all, we're gonna need a platform. Typically, this is a software platform that is going to allow us to do two things. One, project management, so we can delegate all the tasks to our team members. And second one, a place to hold all the documentation on how to do every single one of the tasks. I've used a lot of apps in my life, like a lot. And the only app or one of the few apps that I have seen where I can do these two things instead of one app is Notion. And in fact, what we are gonna have to build there is quite simple. Let me show you with a very simple diagram. So in Notion, we can have databases and those databases can hold multiple rows of data with different properties and everything. So if you've, if you've been following my channel, you, you will know about this. And we are gonna simply need three different databases. One for projects, one for tasks, and one for SOPs. SOP stands for Standard Operating Procedures. So this is basically the documents that I was talking about, the how-tos. Here on the projects database, what we are going to need to have is the different statuses that every project or client goes through. So of course, you will have to have that already defined in your company and standardized. So it's always the same. Now you're starting to see why I was saying about standardizing this, because if we are reinventing the wheel for every client that we have, it's impossible for us to systemize it and to delegate it or very difficult. Now, all the projects are gonna have tasks assigned to it. So this is basically all the things that we are gonna do. And this task is gonna be assigned to whoever needs to do them. 
And then here is where the magic of Notion is. This task database, we will be able to also connect to our SOPs database. And the idea here is that whenever we have a project reaching a particular status, we are gonna automatically create all the tasks that that status requires. And all those tasks are gonna be linked to the SOPs that are gonna explain to the user how to do the tasks. Let me show you an example. So this is an example of a task that gets created automatically every time that one of my clients pays me for the first time. So this means that they have become a client. I need to onboard them to Slack. And this is the task, this is already done. And here we have the related SOP, how to onboard a client after he's paid. So if I click in here, what I need to get done. I can see which is the purpose, which is the context, when are we doing this, and the step-by-step -step process. So I will just have to follow this process and mo most of these steps are automated. So I will just have to follow this process in order to invite this person to, to Slack. So now you can imagine this. It doesn't matter who is assigned to this, whoever is assigned to this will be able to do this task because the how-to is right inside of the task. How cool is that? This is something that every single business needs in order to grow and in order to make the business owner more free. Now, if you're wondering how to structure each SOP, this is how I structure mine. I always add a video of me doing the task and I use Loom for recording it. If your task is not done in a computer, you can have someone with a camera, with an iPhone or whatever, and record you doing the task. Then we have a place for all the resources needed. So there's any account, any login, any whatever it is needed to complete the task. It's a very simple overview of the task, so like an executive summary of the of the task. Definition of done, so once this happens, it means that we have finished the whole process. And finally, the whole step-by-step -step of the process. The fastest way that I have found in order to build this kind of SOPs is by recording myself using Loom and then using ChatGPT in order to turn that video into the step-by-step -step process. This is one of the things that I'm gonna be talking about in my newsletter. So if you don't wanna miss that, make sure to sign up in the description of this video. Now, building this whole process may take a little bit of time. You will need to first define which is the whole customer flow or standardize it if you haven't done it. Then build the structure in Notion. Then define the SOPs that you need to create. Then create them. And then build the automation so everything happens automatically. But we can see this process as sharpening the saw before cutting tree. We're gonna be able to cut so many fucking trees that this is, and this is gonna make this process so much worth it. Now, if you're curious to see how a full business system can be built inside of this tool, Notion, then head over a video that is gonna appear over here that it's super cool. So that is it for this video, guys. And as always, hasta la próxima.